Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Kat, and I'm at the God of War 3 press event. Hey, I'm here with Todd Pappy, the lead game designer for God of War 3. So let's talk a little bit about what's different in God of War 3 versus God of War 2. Well, it's it's the scale. I mean, it's it's the fidelity that we're able to do things now. We're not hampered by anything. You know, before it used to be set pieces like, okay, uh, I'm going to have a Titan, but it's it's the bust of a Titan, and, and he's blowing at me or something like that. But now they're living, breathing creatures and moving around, and you're dealing with, you know, however they move. Do you find it easier or more challenging to design for PS3 versus PS2? More challenging. There's a fine line in dealing with animators and dealing with designers. It, it, there was a lot of iteration that went went on. There are a lot of games that sort of, they copy God of War in a way. You know, I mean, it looks basically identical in some games. Are you insulted by that or do you find that a compliment to your design? I wish them well, you know, and I hope that they take their game and kind of push it a different way and try to expand the genre like Bayonetta and Darksiders they, they're they trying to expand the genre and versus being a, a direct copy Now I know it's early to be asking this but do you foresee any uh, downloadable content for God of War 3? Um, we've talked about it and it's something that we are exploring you know there's there's a bunch of different stuff that we've talked about that didn't make it into God of War 3, and we're like, hey, maybe that might be interesting. Hey guys, I'm here with Crispin Freeman, who's one of the voice actors in the game. So uh, what character do you play? I play Helios, the sun god. He basically rides around in his fiery chariot and fights against one of the titans, and you as Kratos have to shoot me out of the sky. And then once I'm tangled up in my horses, you show incredible mercy by ripping my head off and using me as a flashlight through the rest of the game. Can you give us a little sample of your Helios voice? Maybe saying something Helios might never say. Might never say, Kratos, I love you! <laughs> and he would chop off your head. Pretty much. Thank you very much, Crispin. Yeah. I'm here with Adam Poole. So what's your involvement in the game? I am a lead combat designer on God of War 3. What's your favorite weapon or attack in the game? Well, I really like the way that the combat grapples turned out. Uh, the combat grapple is ability for Kratos to stick his blaze into any enemy and pull himself in, um, and he'll perform like a shoulder ram, stun that enemy, and be able to combo further. What are the main differences in the combat system between 3 and 2? It's definitely a continued evolution of the combat systems. We have four weapons in the game, and you can switch to them at any point in time. You can easily combo into each one. There are, there are special moves that allow you to switch in between weapons. Um, so now you don't have to go into a pause menu or anything like that to switch weapons. Our items also have a constantly regenerating meter, so the fire bow is our new ranged projectile weapon, and it, um, it allows you to attack enemies from far away or harpies that are flying around. In the past, you would kind of be stingy about using that because it would take a uh, magic meter, but now it's just a uh, regenerating meter, um, kind of like the Halo armor armor bar or something like that and really like all of these things combine with uh, as well as the new items that have come into the, to play allow you to switch combos and and uh, switch items and, and combine them all together in new and interesting ways um, and I think that we really um, enhance that with the way that the AI work the AI really make you want to switch weapons because certain weapons, weapons are going to be stronger or necessary to beat uh, AI in the game what do you see happening next with the God of War franchise? I don't know, because I, I, I don't want to ruin anything for you, but you know, this is the, the wrapping up of the trilogy of the story, and this comes to a definite conclusion. I think Kratos is an awesome character that um, probably won't be ignored, so let's we'll see what happens. So where do you see the God of War franchise going next? Would you want to see an expansion on this or anything like that, or do you think this will be the final in the series? We'll take our, our, our time off and enjoy that vacation that we've earned and, and then uh, you know go, go back to the drawing board, see if there's a new IP out there that we want to explore or you know if there's something left in the God of War universe. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Sure. That's it for us at the God of War 3 press event. The game looks amazing. And check us out next time on Game Break.